Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the game between Magnus Carlsen and me, where I sacrificed my full rook in the opening of the game. This is your today's puzzle, 100 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, I started the game with h4, I want to bring my rook like this, it will be a very fantastic experience, e5, rook to h5, Magnus will play d5 to attack my rook with the bishop, but many chess friends told me that, it's not a rook sacrifice, it's just a piece exchange, so I moved my rook to e3 to sacrifice the rook completely, which I did in the game, I sacrificed the rook. And never try this in your whole life because you are not smart like me, knight takes e5 then d4, knight c6, here my engine says that bishop g5 is a best move, then bishop e7 knight c3 then bishop takes takes, but I should not forget that I am down a rook, don't just focus to make best moves. Sometimes you have to play defensively, for example, if you like to save an innocent life, then it's a good move, you did nothing wrong, don't follow blindly. Bishop f5 targeting to this pawn and black is hoping to play knight b4 to fork you with your rook, you know the trick, so king f1, h6 c3, making a pawn chain to protect that square from any incoming attacks, and I am willing to push the a pawn in the future, bishop p6 a4 castle knight to a3, if you take the knight, thinking stockfish is down a rook so let me eat his pieces, no fool, my structure will be more strong because these pawns are on the dark squares. So you need the dark square bishop to break them, if you want to beat stockfish then play brilliant moves, only brilliant moves, otherwise go to the toilet to hide your face, a6 to protect that square, so knight c2 to go to the e3 to target the bishop, Magnus takes the knight queen takes c2, queen d7, he can play queen e7 and rook e8 to force me to stay passively, let me show you the variation, if you give black some extra moves, rook here then he will sacrifice the bishop on g3, after takes knight f5. These knights are super dangerous for the king, so bishop f4 knight g4 queen c1 knight e3 check, you have to take it then knight takes check, king f2 to protect the bishop from the knight, queen f5 check bishop blocks, Black will throw the g5 pawn, pawn takes here g4, I am sure you never see this devastating position in your life, queen check is coming and the game will be dead lost, the king is exposed and black is completely winning. So back to the position we have knight to f3 rook e8 bishop d2 queen e6 to target the pawn, so we have e3 knight a5, black is one move away to occupy white's complete position, I will be paralyzed on this position so I have to play b3 knight c6, this knight move gives me opportunity to which I played on the game, Magnus played bishop b4 rook c1 by me bishop takes d2, here I goes for a brilliant level, any normal human would play queen takes bishop, but I played c takes d5. Targeting the queen being targeted by the bishop, Magnus have saved the queen first, knight takes d5 queen takes d2 we have knight b4, and here, I sacrificed, the rook, this is the second rook sacrifice, if you take it then queen takes knight and I will be little fine, knight d2 to play positionally, so Magnus takes the rook with the knight, d5 queen d6 pawn takes c6, if you take it with the queen then knight d4 will come, bishop will activate on there, however it is the best move but Magnus played b takes c6. Instead of taking the queen I played queen c2, c5 knight d2 rook d8 king e2 rook here knight c4 and after some more moves later, we have, queen to g6, offering a queen exchange, if you decline queen exchange offer and goes for the pawn, let me show you the variation then queen d3 check king e1 check, here takes and mate, game will be over, what do you get by sacrificing the rook in the opening? Ha, huh. so in this position I take the queen with my queen pawn takes, and this is pure knight and bishop versus two rooks, I have one extra pawn but black is completely winning here, knight b7, here best move is to play c4, let me show you the variation, completely sacrifice the rook, knight takes rook takes takes, however black is still winning here, because it's a bishop versus rook, so in our game, Magnus played rook b8 instead of playing c4, now I get the opportunity to play positionally. These pawns are so good to support my light bishop, King here knight takes c5, this is protected by the knight so rook here, f4 a5, this queen side split pawns can't damage my army, 
and this structure is super good for me, now I have to deal with these stupid pawn, e4 g5 takes takes e5 king g6 king here rook here, e4 check bishop blocks takes takes rook, d1 knight e6 targeting to the pawn and another thread is to give a check, so rook here and if you take the pawn then rook takes bishop will come. And you are going to lose your knight and the game, because you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel, so subscribe the channel to get stockfish analyzing videos and become smart in chess, I played f5 king h6 f6, takes takes I make a passed pawn rook to f1 knight takes pawn king g5 knight d5 rook check king here rook b8 king c5 and after some moves later we have king b6 to target the pawn and make two connected passed pawns of other side of the board. Magnus is moving the rooks towards but it will not help anything, you may say, Eval Bar is saying that this position is 0-0, but you know what, human will never understand end game of chess, even a chess game, look at the game, I sacrificed my two rooks, Magnus have the two rooks, but without rook, he have nothing, that's my beauty, if you take it then takes takes, knight will escape and I will promote my pawn, black king can't do anything, so in this position, we have rook h4, a7 rook backs knight c7 and we have a check, Magnus is saying, don't promote the pawn, don't promote the pawn, nope, I will not promote the pawn if you resign the game, he resigned the game but I continue the game, because I want to show you the game to the checkmate. Here I checkmated him. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.